Hello, I'm Richard Vobes. I'm out on another walk. This time I'm in Ford in West Sussex, close to Littlehampton and close to Arundel. And I'm on the trace of a disused, mysteriously vanished canal. Perhaps it's not so mysteriously vanished. We're going to find out more by having a chat with our resident historian, Martin Snow. Hello, Martin. Hello. A back Good to see you again. To see you again on another nice. sunny, <laughs> sunny Sussex day. Yes, yes, we seem to manage to bring Cat the sun out. We have, which is it's our sunny. It's our sunny complexion. It must be. Now, you've brought me to Ford, which is a, a pretty empty place, isn't it? It's a bit spread out. There's not a lot here. Um, although there was, there I know was that there more. was um, an aerodrome. The RAF had a training uh, air well, port a base, or yeah. base. Yeah. And there's a prison, Ford Open Prison. That's still uh, here. Some of you may have frequented that, maybe. <laughs> I don't know, I'm not saying. <laughs> um, and, uh, and then there was a canal. That's right. But um, I, I, to be honest with you, I can't see any signs of a canal, so maybe you can help me with that. Well, we're pretty much standing in the, in the bed of the canal. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, which is, counts for our wet feet, uh, not, right. not just the dew. Not just the dew <laughs> on the grass. So just explain then, this canal, the Portsmouth and Arundel Canal, Yes. Um, what was the purpose of it? Um, it was a, a link in the chain uh, between Portsmouth and London Right. that was built to avoid um, sailing around the, the Straits of Dover um, at times when we were arguing with the French. So during the well, Na Napoleonic that's, Wars, that's right. a lot of it. So um, we're looking at a, a property here which wasn't actually there at the time of the of the um, the canal, but it's on the sort of site of where there were some cottages, some cottages, lock cottage. Because here was a lock, isn't yes, it? Yes, a lock. Right? Alm so, we're almost, almost standing in the lock. Right where the lock would have been. Yes, and you can sort of see a, um, the bank there, which the bank indicates there. the dip where the canal ran. That's right, yes. And now you're going to take me to another lock, lock. because right. there were two locks that joins up with the River Arran. River Arran, yes. So um, let's, let's head off towards that. So the, and as we walk to the, because there's actually something to see, that's what I was trying to, trying <laughs> yes, to get Yes, yes, we, 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 we uh, we, we did cheat a bit and have a bit of a record, record, record to see if it was still there. Still there, that's <laughs> right. Um, and so this, this canal was serving, taking the ships inland to make it safer. And I say ships, the barges really, because... Yeah, yes, because of the size that was available, they had to be offloaded into barges. And one of the um, extraordinary things, I believe, is that there was gold bullion taken on this route up to London, 112 miles up to London through the various different canal and river systems that they managed to join up, guarded yes. by redcoats. That's right, yes, once, once a month um, they took gold, gold bullion, quite, quite, um, which of the former colonies they raided the uh, gold from is open to debate. But, yes, uh, but I suppose the idea, as you said before, it's far safer to bring it inland away from other pirates and um, coastal ships from France or wherever. Or wherever, yes, yes. Wh whoever decided to argue at the time. And, um, but it wasn't just gold bullion that used this oh no. canal. Presumably um, other stuff that was coming into the ports at, um, at on the River Arran, wasn't it? So they would be coming into um, the River Arran and indeed at Portsmouth. Yes, yes. I mean, the idea of Portsmouth was Portsmouth being a naval base Right. Um, they could get uh, supplies, the, take supplies the other way from London down there, uh, uh, you know, um, ammunition and so on. That was, that, that, was, that was obviously the hope of the people that promoted the canal. Now it was built in 1823, I think it opened. It opened in 1823, that's right. And it's a, a bit of a, a late canal really, because we know that the the railways came along in the 1830s. The, the, the coastal railway uh, came through here in 1846. You know, opening up a canal is a big business and it c takes a lot of money and a lot of investment. And I, I know the Earl of Egremont, uh, the third Earl of Egremont, I should say, given his proper title, um, invested quite a, a huge amount of money in this. Yes, yes. Um, As he did several canals in this area. Yes. And it seems they all lost their money ultimately because 
I think I read that he was anticipating a hundred thousand tons of coal a year going on the barges up to London and in its best year only four thousand tons actually came. Yeah. Uh, a bit of a disappointment I think for him. <laughs> But, I, think, um, I, I th believe he did have the money, so it wasn't too worried. So we've, now we've come to a site where there is uh, not a huge amount to see. <laughs> um, um, unfortunately, we, we should have brought our um, strummer with us to... Uh, uh, let's have a, let's have a little look down here at what yes, we can yes. see. So we're just looking down at what looks like a, a large stone. Can you explain what that um, is? <clears throat> that's part of where the lock gate would have swung. Right. Um, and further along you'll have to accept accept that there were there's also some bricks re remaining <laughs> right um, now there used there was ah oh, there it is you've got a you've got a, <laughs> uh, an a, interpretation board it's it, it's difficult to imagine in many ways just how um, how this could have been a canal here because all we see here is a flat field yes so we're just coming up to the um, to the river here. This is the River Arran that runs down to Littlehampton and then up to Arundel and beyond to Pallingham Docks. Um, pa Pallingham Locks, yes. Pallingham Locks, rather. Yes. And so in the period that we're talking about, in the period of the canal in the 1820s, when it was first here, where we're standing, more or less, there would have been a, a, a bridge. The river was an access up to London from Littlehampton. You could get up to London via a complicated system of um, locks and a tunnel and a, a couple of different navigations and all the rest. Let's not go into all of the details, but that's what you could do. You had two locks. Yes, there was one just here yeah. and the other was uh, just by, the, by the, where the white building is. But now this is where I get confused because um, normally I thought locks took you up, up a hill but it's, it's all relatively flat, so why did you need two locks instead of just one? Well, um, the, the land between here and Chichester Harbour is, as you go along, is, is higher and they had to raise it up 12 feet so that they could have, once they'd gone up the two locks, yes, um, they, they were on a level. So were they raising it up to 12 feet? in one lock or, or over the two in, locks? In the two locks. I get it, I get it. Six yeah. feet each. Right, so, so I mean, what we haven't Four mentioned, feet. of course, is the canal takes water. Exactly. And water comes from somewhere. Obviously it comes from the river, but how did they get the water from the river into the canal? They had a substantial building pump with, with a large pump in it. Steam-driven pumping station? Ste Steam-driven pumping station. Massive building that was demolished by the 1870s. Um, but that pumped uh, water from the river, but they'd have to choose the time that they pumped to make sure they got fresh water and not the salt water. Well, I hope that you've enjoyed our ponder <laughs> at the remains of this peculiar line. There's so much more to it that one could devote a whole documentary to it but out here in the Sussex um, countryside it's rather delightful so if you get a chance to come down do come and visit this wonderful place thank you very much um, Martin my, my pleasure and we'll uh, we're actually on another video we're going to investigate um, more of the canal in as much as there's a lot more to see we're looking at two bridges two canal bridges one of which exists in the most peculiar place and you'll never guess where. You'll have to wait and watch. Yes, yes. <laughs> Till, fascinating. Fascinating stuff. Till the next time, bye for now. Bye-bye.